What up, world? So I saw Lone Survivor, and um, before anybody start belly aching, because I put that it's a 2014 movie, I know it was released like two, three weeks ago for Oscar consideration and whatnot, but my motherfucking ass classifies releases by the time they hit national stage, you know what I mean? Her and Lone Survivor both come out January 10th, 2014, so I consider them motherfuckers 2014 movies. So Lone Survivor. It um it stars Mark Wahlberg, Taylor Kitsch, Ben Foster, Emil Hirsch, uh, Eric Bana, Jerry Ferreira, and it's directed by Peter Berg. Peter Berg has directed shit like The Rundown, Friday Night Lights, The Kingdom, um, uh, and Battleship. And um I never saw Battleship, I heard it was trash. And I will let y'all know that he redeems his motherfucking self. Um, Lone Survivor is a true story. It's about, I want to say, Operation Red Wings. Or, and um, it's, it's Taylor Kitsch. He's the fire team leader. Mark Wahlberg. Uh, uh, Emil Hirsch is the comms guy. And there's Ben Foster. Ben Foster is kind of like the point man. Their rules of engagement... Um, are to find like a Taliban leader, you know, capture him and execute him. You know what I'm saying? Like they're in the Navy, they're SEALs, dog. They show training that the Navy SEALs go through at the very beginning of this movie. Me being a prior military, I'm too pussy for this shit. I'll put that shit on the World Wide Web. I'm too pussy to go through what Navy motherfuckers have to go through to make it to be a SEAL. That shit is intense fucking training. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was in the Air Force. You know, I always knew Army motherfuckers was hardcore. I always knew Marine motherfuckers was hardcore. I always knew Navy motherfuckers was hardcore. But seeing this shit gives me a whole new respect for the other branches of service. You feel what I'm saying? Um. So I mean, you see the previews, man. They um. They're you know what I'm saying? They're scouting locations. They're you know what I'm saying? They're picking their spots basically. I mean, they they stumble upon some um unfamiliars and the shit hits the fan it's just chaos from there man um and you know lone survivor i mean basically you can as, as soon as you know who like if you know the story and you know which soldier the the story came from then as soon as the characters introduced you you know the outcome of the movie i mean it's just it's it's crazy to see man there, there are sequences in this shit that, like, at the beginning, it's all camaraderie. Everybody's at, everybody's at, at home base, and they're getting their mission together, you know, you know, and like that shit made me miss being on deployment with my, with my people, you know what I'm saying? Um, and like, everybody that deployed me with me, man. Y'all know who y'all are, man. What's fucking good? Um, uh, and and then. And then just the mission goes on, and like once again, man, this shit is fucking crazy. And actually, this shit happened in real life, like a year before my ass went overseas. Um, but that's another video, that's another story. Um, and like the acting, man, this cast is dope as hell. Like every everybody in this fucking, even even the dude who plays, like even the dude who plays, I like, get the rookie. You know what I'm saying? The 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 new boot, whatever. And, uh, like, even him, he played the dude from the first Hunger Games movie who was basically between Katniss and Peter and winning the Hunger Games. It was him, and he did a good job. And, um, just, like, it's a dope-ass cast. The acting is on point, it, even, from, even from the Taliban actors. Um, the, the direction was good. And, like, there's a part of this movie, like, obviously he survived. Like, obviously, like... You have to see the shit. I don't want to get nothing away, but there's a portion of this movie that that shows like, like the the stereotype that all, uh, the all Arabics you hate Americans and all Arabics are anti-America. Like they kill that shit for one. I thought that was cool. What I'm talking about is like these motherfuckers, man. Marcus Luttrell, man. Navy SEALs, man. All military motherfuckers are the heroes, man. Put the comic books away, man. The, for, fuck Iron Man. Fuck Batman. Fuck Spider-Man. Fuck Superman. Fuck all superheroes. All fictitious heroes. Fuck LeBron James. Fuck Michael Jordan. Fuck Peyton Manning at this said time. 
because army motherfuckers, military motherfuckers, navy motherfuckers, air force motherfuckers, marine motherfuckers are the motherfuckers who deserve the respect motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers are heroes. And what I'm talking about is, if you anti-military, man, if you ain't supporting the armed forces, man, fuck you for one. And, like, also, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck Freddy Krueger. Fuck, fuck uh, some paranormal activity. Fuck Halloween, Jason, Chucky. Fuck all that shit. This, this is a real fucking scary movie. This shit really happened. You know what I'm saying? And I was engaged to this whole fucking shit. It's graphic as hell. Like, it shows bullet wounds, it shows fucking, um, not really amputations, but severed limbs and shit, um, and, like, like, this shit is a real scary movie, man, like I said, man, I don't even fuck with war movies, but I was into this shit, so Lone, Lone Survivor is diggity dope, first movie I seen in 2014, this shit is the bar, you know what I mean? I'm sure it could be my number one in a year. It could not make my list in a year. It just depends on the caliber of movie that comes out. I want to know, did you see Lone Survivor? What did you think of Lone Survivor? Fucking salute every motherfucker that really was involved in this shit. And shout out to these motherfuckers' families. I mean, good Lord, this shit was horrible. You know, since I'm not really hardcore into the war movies and shit, I recommend me recommend me your favorite war movie. Um, so I mean, on the horizon from my motherfucking ass, I got my very first rap talk, January 2014 rap talk. Look forward to that shit. I got raps of my own as always on the way. I got fabulous Soul Tape Three review coming. Better better late than never. You know what I mean. Uh, next week, I'm going to see Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. And in a couple weeks, me and me and O Pizzle will have that uh, that Super Bowl sports talk video. I hope y'all motherfuckers are enjoying our playoff predictions. Um, find your boy on Facebook, man. Find me on the different social networks, man. Peace.